Morning folks, Killban here. Jungle update, jungle diary entry number ooh, two. <laughs> yeah, they went into the jungle yesterday and yeah, we got to meet them all. They did the first couple of challenges, the teams are sorted out. I quite enjoyed it, I thought it was quite interesting. As I said yesterday, I think this is a really good sort of dynamic group. You've got some great personalities there. At the moment, everyone's getting on, you know, it's all nicey-nicey. And the last two years of the show have been horribly nicey-nicey, really. So you want some friction, but already, I think we're going to see some friction. I think we can tell where it's going to emanate from. You've got Anne Hegarty is going to have a big mad meltdown. I said John Barrowman would be the first to go. Whoa, she went yesterday? She's like a fucking brontosaurus, for God's sake. And she couldn't take the pressure already, just getting into camp. Hmm. Anne, Anne, just get in this canoe. We've got to get over there. Anne, Anne, get out of the canoe. Anne, Anne. Blah, 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 blah. I think we know whose fault that was that they sank. <laughs> um, Emily Atak coming out the air, uh, the helicopter. I never thought you'd jump out of helicopters. You jump out of planes. Helicopters have got fucking big rotor blades, haven't they? You know, you don't want to go up. Oh, ooh, heads off. But she screamed all the way down, and that poor guy strapped to her. Holy shit. But she came across quite well, actually. She's got the first Bush Tucker trial to do. Yeah, she's a screamer. And people like that sort of thing. You're never going to get Redknapp doing it. You're never going to get Hegarty doing it. Who else might not be doing anything? Mm, I think that's possibly it. But medical reasons, the others won't be doing much at all. You've got three vegans in there. How's that work out? The, the emu last night. Vegans can't even touch meat, can they? Unless it's their own. <laughs> but how is that going to work out? I don't, I don't quite get that. Putting boobs and things. Well, bending the rules, I think. Uh, John Barrowman. Yeah. As people were saying afterwards, uh, in the after show thing in my jig, oh God, yeah, this guy could cause a fair bit of problems. Uh, he's a fucking diva. He's OTT, he's razzmatazz, you know, ooh, sweaty armpits though. And uh, <laughs> everyone's saying that when he, when he goes off the handle, when he goes on the big strop, oh dear, it's World War Three. Worth watching out for. Can't wait for that, can't wait for that. He's gonna, he could blow up on anyone though, really, couldn't he? Redknapp, yeah, he seems likeable at the moment. I think he could be a bit of a rat bag though, and he could be a bit of an idle son of a bitch. I could be wrong. My predictions usually are. And uh, Nick Knowles, the awesome Nick Knowles, DIY superstar, Mr. Practicality. That guy, fucking A1 survivalist alpha male. Get in there, Nick. Um, but because of that, he's going to get the hump because other people, other people aren't doing their bit, their share, and it's going to wind him up, I think. So he's going to go head to head with Harry at some point who at the moment he's quite nice and defending alongside, and John Barrowman. I think not so stuff's going to happen there. Big smackdown, jungle smackdown. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. Holly Willoughby, um, yeah, the, the double act of Ant and Dec isn't there. She's got a long way to go and some, you know, well, because he's big shoes to fill, but they're little tiny, little tiny feet for a little tiny person with a fucking big fod on him. But uh, but Deck though, Deck could do it single-handedly. He genuinely does not need anybody else. I could watch that guy all day. You know, I, I think he's got he can he can bounce stuff off the people around the camera that you can't see. He's great at doing that. And his little zingy one-liners, and he's just a, a little a little clown. So. You know, he doesn't even need a companion. But anyway, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> it's only one day in. I'm enjoying it. Um, oh, when they come to the toll booth and they're putting their hands in. God, our roof just raised. The amount of screaming that me, Mrs. Kiltman, and the couple of younger Kilt people in the family, we screaming that much, we scared the dog off. I mean, I don't mind the yabbies, the crabby-like things. Don't mind them. Don't mind snakes. Fucking spiders, man! Holy shit! Big things, and they come and running out. You know where they're running? Bloody Anne Hegarty's arms in there. Spiders go, oh shit! I like the way they kept the dressing, like, oh, it's so like Jurassic Park. But where's the dinosaurs? 
They took one look at Anne Hegarty and thought, fuck that, we're off. So, I'm really enjoying it, and I can't wait for tonight's exciting instalment. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, a load, it's a load of stupidity though, isn't it? You know, when you think about it, but hey, it's great. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up super quick because I'm going to work in about five minutes. Five counting them, five goddamn minutes. That's my bush stucker trial today, to get my ass to work. So, anyway, in the time honored fashion, keep it Celtic, keep it real, stay healthy, watch out for yabbies and spiders. And I'll see you guys later!